I love to have a beer with Duncan. I love to have a beer with Duncan. We drink in moderation, and we never, ever, ever get rolling. Good morning from a sunny campsite, finally. Sun's out, the birds are chirping. It's not a cloud in the sky. I mean, that could last for maybe an hour before more rain comes back, given the spot we're in, but that's just how it goes in the southwest. But for now, it's beautiful. And today's just going to be a chill day. I think we might drive down on a Parry Beach and do a bit of a drive. But apart from that, we're just going to be sitting around doing nothing. So, I'm going to finish breakfast. Tuck into some bacon and eggs. And we'll see you soon. Parry Beach is one point of William Bay. So you've got William Bay National Park. William Bay is the is the area in its entirety. And you've got this point here, uh, the most the most western point of the bay, which is Parry Beach. And then it's about 20 odd k around to Green Pools, and that has Elephant Rock. And so that's that's the comfort as the the. Um, the William Bay area. Absolutely beautiful spot. It is truly amazing down here. Very typical where the bush meets the beach. It's just incredible.
Thank you. Stand there, don't go anywhere. Come on, let me patch up. So, I think it was the weekend before, yeah, last weekend, the weekend before we were coming out, um, I was desperate to get some more space in the back of the GQ. Um, it, I just put a false floor in, um, and that had helped, things were good, but it just, I, had, I still had a lot of crap sitting around here under the false floor. Um, my jaws were chock a block. So, what I did is I went and put a um, little cubicle plastic drawer system in next to the fridge in the back on top of the drawer system. All the gear that's gone into the drawer system that I put in the back is all kitchen gear. Um, and things like tea, coffee, um, spices, salt, pepper, you know, your sauce, things like that. So I was able to really uh, clean up my right drawer um, and free up a lot of a lot of space that I otherwise didn't have. So I'm pretty stoked to have gotten that done because it's changed things a lot in the car. And make, it's making just on this trip I've noticed straight away how much it's um, it's helping with getting things done. I did do I did do a video on the GQ. Mostly about its mods, um, accessories, more of the driving side of things, the vehicle side of things. But um, coming up into winter, I'm planning on doing a video uh, of our camping side of things, what we use camping-wise. And I'll go into more detail about my battery systems. And um, I've got a very extremely simple and messy 12-volt system, but... I mean, I'm out here with two cameras, we've got our phones, um, and it's keeping everything charged for the most part. So, simple, cheap, but it's getting things done. If you if you are interested in the GQ, and the, G, the, the, the performance side of, well not performance, but the vehicle side of things, the car side of things, you can find the GQ rundown I did on the, on the, on the car. Oh, when was that? That'd be a few months ago now. You'll find that on my channel. So just Well, that's it. Camp's all packed up, car's loaded, both ready to set off. How are we feeling? Bit sad. Bit sad, <laughs> yeah. Five nights, it was good. Yeah, it's been It was really a good, good five nights. We had rain, we had sun, we had heat, we had cold. We had 100% humidity. We had it all. Typical great southern weather for you. It's a very, yeah, it's a very special little spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it could quite easily be ruined. So if you do come here, when you do, because I know you will, when you do come here, um, just treat it with the respect that it needs because it's such a privilege to be able to have a fire all year round. Um, so wait till 5 p.m. like they ask. Put it out before you go to bed. Don't put a fire anywhere else in the camp. Keep it in the spot that's supposed to be. We have 
showers here and flushing toilets and you're, you're still in the bush it is quiet it's got its comforts it's cozy and, and comfortable but it still is bush camping um, and if you can get a little spot like we did in the corner of the bush you just wouldn't think you're anywhere near people um, and it's, it's the kind of place that really needs to be looked after and respected so it can be here for many more generations to come because there's a rich history here too which is cool and the volunteers here they're absolute champions we had a good chat with a couple of years we have, yeah. we've talked with them every day so they're really nice yeah they come and do the rounds and give you a big wave yeah and they're really nice people so mm -hmm. i just want to implore to everyone to treat this place nicely because it's yeah don't want it to get too overpopulated and Ruined. lose lose what it is yeah get ruined so i think that's our final thoughts mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and coming along with us for the trip now we're going to make our way west yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then north northwest and uh we'll do a bit of sightseeing on the way but i don't think we'll have the camera out too much we'll no. just enjoy that for ourselves mm -hmm. So that'll be it from us. We'll see you on the next one, eh? Over. Bye. <laughs>